Uh, welcome back, students. We're going to begin the second um, big idea from Chapter 9. This is the distance formula. So take a look over here. How can you find the distance between these two points, point P and point Q? Well, if you've looked at this, you've probably already seen this right triangle, and many of you know uh, how right triangles work, and a specific theorem that allows you to get that third side to a right triangle. Go ahead and see if you can apply that here. Oh, pause the video while you're trying to. <laughs> All right, so if you were able to come up with a way and you were able to use the main theorem, this is called the Pythagorean theorem, or I like to call it the Pythom, just because it's fun to say. Um, Pythom, T-H-M. Okay, so the Pythagorean theorem right there. All right, so the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or as I like to say, the hypotenuse squared, okay? So as we take a look over here, we know that the bottom side squared, whatever that length is, plus this side squared equals this side squared. And just as a quick note, what that's really saying is if you put a square here, it's the proper size, and then a square over here, that's also the proper size. Then the square you make here will be the um, will have the area that's the sum of these two areas. So I could chop these squares up, and just to show you, I won't be able to do it perfectly, but I could chop them up, rotate them a little bit and they'll be able to fit in here perfectly, okay? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's what we're talking about here. a squared plus b squared equals that hypotenuse squared. All right, so all we have to do is know what a is and know what b is. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly what they are in terms of numbers, but we do know what they are in terms of their coordinates. And as we know, the x distances is the difference in those x's from our midpoint ideas. The y distances is the difference in our y's. So we can actually come up with that. We can be like, oh, this distance is x1, uh, x2, minus x1. Now, the reason we picked x2 is because it is further along. All right. The distance for the other one is going to be y2 minus y1. So if I look at this, I know that x2 minus x1 squared, that's like our a, plus y2 minus y1 squared equals our hypotenuse. And our hypotenuse is d for distance. So that equals our distance squared. So if I wanted to find the distance between these, I could find out my x-coordinates, find out my y-coordinates, square them each, add them together, and then I would get d squared. So how would I undo that? Well, just take the square root of d squared. All right. So um, take the square root of both sides, and you'll end up with the proper distance formula. And let's go ahead and apply that square root to both sides. Square root here, square root here. Notice the square root and the 2. Those cancel out. So we're left with d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, so that's how we can find our distance. And so this is our distance formula. D, um, let D be the distance between two points, P, X1, Y1, and Q, that's X2, Y2, okay, then D, and I just realized I did an uppercase D there, it should always be lowercase if you're looking for a distance, is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. 
Okay, so the distance is equal to the square root, that we undid the square up here, of a squared plus b squared. Okay? Um, if you take a look at that, try it. He says he can also use this to find the distance between two points. Is he correct? Definitely take a look at that. Think about what we did up here and answer that. Try it. All right, with that, we're going to end this video on understanding the distance formula. In the next video, we'll start to apply it to certain situations.